Welcome, Clementus. Like, that is just so dumb. I don't even think the Icy Wind hit would have made a difference, right? I don't think it would have bought us a turn. Really frustrating. Perfect Electabuzz. Trash Lapras. Trash Rapidash. So we're a Nido Queen against a Scizor. This is good because we can have Fire Punch, Flamethrower. Earthquake's fine. Earthquake is great. It's probably a three hit KO. Good defense. Bad attack. That is a Steel Wing. Stronger than Metal Claw. But a miss is a good start. I must have an electric or ice attack for it to not switch directly into it on an earthquake. Fly is good. Curse was tactical. I'm gonna go up instead of right. Oh, well, that killed me. Oh, we live. Nice. Double team. I mean... We're probably dead here, but I like our spot. It's kind of cute. We double team again. And then our right is most likely Strength or Hyper Beam. We just want to dodge here. More than anything, we need to dodge here. Good. Some justice for once. Headbutt, stomp, one of those. At plus one, we should 2 a KO. We might even grab a continue here, right? We're at plus three evasion. It'd be really funny. Please, Justice. I mean, the correct thing is to switch here, right? Get a continue. We learned so much more about our team. But I kind of want to just double team again, right? Plus four is no joke. And I want to know what my move is. It was headbutt. The correct thing was definitely to switch, though. But now we can switch if we feel the need to. Or we can go for one more headbutt, right? We're plus four, plus one. Honestly, I might not even die to a hit. But there's no way I 2 a KO. Zero chance I 2 a KO, right? Zero chance I 2 a KO, right? Alright, I'll switch, I'll switch. I was super greedy there, but I, I, I actually have a chance to get a continue now, and I gain the benefit of learning more about my team by switching here, right? There's nothing that like dies to a headbutt switch in here. Magmar wins this game. 
And then we switch to our last. I'd rather learn about the teammates, the team members, rather than their moves, right? Like, the best thing I could do here, like, technically speaking, is find Fire Blast and miss. And then switch. But now we know not to pick Jolteon for the next fight, right? And that's huge, huge knowledge. Crit is scary. Bite. Thunderbolt. Should all kill. Bite did not kill. Has a chance to flinch. Did not. We live crit plus follow up. Second bite should kill. Yeah. I don't think it learns quick attack in this set. Bite Jolteon is great. Magmar is cool. And our top row literally loses to Earthquake. And we gotta continue. This could not have gone better. Again, the only way this could have gone better was to go for Fire Blast with Magmar, miss, and then switch, right? Because that gives us max information, and or it gives us one more piece of information. That's literally the only reason. Like, that would be the better thing to happen. But, like, all things considered, that was probably the best case scenario for that. We were a little bit at risk of dying there, right? A second crit would have killed us. Like, the only way that would have been better is if Bite killed in one hit rather than two, but... Bottom row, all but guaranteed to have at least an Ice type, a Water type, or a Grass type. There's some consideration to, like, throw in Jolteon, or at the very least Magmar, because Aerodactyl lead is pretty scary. Polyrath is great, except for exactly Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl, you say. Maybe they Sandstorm first, and we Hydro. The Whoa, from the word go. Crit is not cool. The Waterfall is not cool. Uh, I mean, there's no way we win now, right? The Pokemon is returning to its Pokeball. Excuse you? There's no way it stays in. Zero chance it stays in. Unless. Well, we found our ancient power. Best case scenario is Omastar or Scizor. Needle Queen would be fine too. Right on scary. He rolls out, right? No, he guaranteed rolls out. There's no way he rock slides and kills. Zero chance they rock slide and kill. Iron Tail wouldn't kill either. Like, this is such a free switch here. We only lose if it like, goes for Thunder Punch. That would kill here. That would be unfortunate. And it is roll out. And then we would ideally like Golem on the end. I don't think we kill Steelix from full. We definitely don't kill Don Fan. Kill, kill Don Fan from full. But uh, Steelix, I'm not really sure if we one shot. It'd be cool if we did. But Golem would be best. Oh man, that was literally the perfect way to navigate this fight. Not even kidding. If I had my eyes open, this is the exact same way I'd play this fight. It's insane. Waterfall, switch to arrow. Arrow kills with ancient power. Bait the rollout, switch to polyrath. Waterfall, waterfall win. It's the exact perfect way to have played that turn. And I did it with my eyes closed. What can I say? And we gotta continue. Ugh. What a start. I already know this is gonna get, like, flubbed by a, a crash. We've had three crashes before this run. Two yesterday, one today.
Let's see how it takes it away. I wasn't thinking about my team as I was getting ready. I guess we'll run Arrow. We know where Ancient Power is, which is good. That can kill a Jinx. That can deal good damage to a Lapras, Cloyster. Technically can do damage to a Polyrath, right, if we find Wing Attack on right. Tentacruel. All right, well, we're starting right. If Bite was left, Thunder is right. Confirmed. Sludge Bomb means we lose. Surf means we win. I was literally thinking to myself, there's no way they, they ever go for Rain Dance in this fight, right? Surely not. And they went for... Oh. It's their own Electrode. I'm an idiot. What? What? I'm an idiot. Oh, it's an Electrode, and I just went for Rain Dance twice in a row. It sounded just like Tentacruel. Oh my goodness. That's hilarious. That's a very rare thing to have happen, right? I have to have exactly Jolteon. They have to be exactly Electrode on the fight where they're a water type team. They have to go for exactly... Oh my goodness. Everything is in shambles. I'm honestly just going to reset. It will save more time than trying to like learn about my team. I technically should have switched, learned about my third, and then forfeited. I, I definitely messed that up. I'm gonna lead. I'm gonna lead Nita Queen now. That was that's hilarious. <laughs> and we know we have a Rain Dance Jolteon. I'm gonna pick my last though. I don't think it's gonna be better than Aerodactyl. Or I don't think Aerodactyl is gonna be better than a random last. Definitely should have switched. That was that was a misplay as well. Jinx. Well, my last could be a grass type here, which would suck. But maybe it's an Umbreon. How cool would it be if I just switched to Umbreon right now? I mean, Bliss is the exact same thing, right? Perfect switch in for a Jinx. It is Psychic. Okay. If they switch, we're in trouble. Why did you switch? Why did you switch to Blastoise? Bro, I don't even think a crit hyper beam does 50%. I don't even know if it does 30%. <laughs> it earthquakes, right? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The only way you switch to a Blastoise is if you have a good physical attack against Blissey. <sighs> well, they don't have Electrode, I don't think. So let's go to Nido Queen, which is dead already, and save our Blissey, which is the only thing we have to like optimistically beat Jinx, right? We do have Bite on our, our Jolteon, but like Nido Queen was never meant to win anything in this fight. Nido Queen was just here to kill an Electrode, and since there's no Electrode, we settle for just dealing Earthquake damage to Blastoise. That was my crit. I should be. No, I shouldn't be. Eh? I am faster. Yes. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. Okay. Okay. I don't want to try and get a continue here. Okay. I will gladly take enough damage to kill with thunder, and then bite my way to victory. We win this. 
We all but win this. Hyperbeam miss might be a deciding factor. Has our... Has our Jolteon taken damage? It is not. I need to find Thunder. I can't go Rain Dance and then Thunder, right? If I knew where Thunder was, I'd go for Rain Dance here 100%. But because I can go for Rain Dance and then like go for like Iron Tail, we need to just find Thunder first. And we can also just hit, you know? We don't have to, you know, get the crutch. The crutch of Rain Dance. And then we bite our way through and win. Again, I think the only way we lose here is if Hyper Beam misses Jinx. Because right now, this game should be won. And if somehow we don't win, we're going to go to Blissey. And if we go to Blissey, the only way we don't win is if we don't hit Hyper Beam. Because there's like no chance they go for a freezing move. Like a crit there might kill my Jolteon. And that was the most likely result, right? We would just pull off a flinch and win. It's bite. I just realized there's a voice I need to learn. Oh, I can't remember it. In my head, I'm currently thinking about how there's a voice that I need to like learn and practice. It's not Luigi's voice. And I can't remember why I'm thinking I need to remember that voice and know that voice and emulate that voice. What is that voice? It's, an, it's the voice of a character. Why do I need to remember the voice of a character? Which character am I thinking of? Oh, this is so important. I need to remember. Honestly, uh, Nita Queen is better. And I guess we could go with uh, our Waterfall Polyrath, just because we can have Vital Throw or Submission. We're all physical attackers, except for Polyrath here. Nido Queen Aerodactyl Polyrath. So Polyrath is our only way to break through a uh, non-defensive Pokemon. And this is what I was worried about, right? What if they just lead Heracross? <laughs> Hopefully they go for Attract, and my Aerodactyl is a male. I'll, I'll take that one too. The problem is, I'm definitely I'm definitely a male, or I might be a male. And if I'm a male, they go for attract. They switched though, which I'm fine with. Miltank would be scary. Snorlax is also like equally as scary, probably just as bad. And we do have the wing attack. Needle Queen, you've got one job. Tank a Hyper Beam and Crit Earthquake. That's all I'm asking. We take those two, we take those two. So I could go for Curse here, right? Start setting up this uh, Nido Queen to be a, a super tank. But we just go for damage here. We just go for damage. That could be a male and go for attract. Yeah. We don't want to deal with that. I'll go for one more earthquake and then I'll consider switching to Polyrath. This will be the turn. This will be the turn to determine if uh, it's a safe switch, right? It is not a safe switch. So we are just gonna take the L. We are going to allow our Nido Queen to die to this body slam in two hits. Yes, it's a hit. 
Body Slam Snorlax just terrifies me. There's like no reason it does so much damage, but it feels like it does more damage than usual. You know what I mean? Like, obviously it's a Snorlax. Of course it's gonna do more damage. Even though that's not how that works. But it still scares me every time. Vital Throw would be bad here. Dynamic Punch would also be bad here. But as long as we just hit, we have the best chance to win. The problem is we don't know their third, and Aerodactyl is not... Ooh, we love to hear that. The problem is our, la our Aerodactyl is not really well positioned against a lot of normal types. Normal types can have coverage moves like the Snorlax did, right? It had Thunder Punch. And most normal types just have like good enough bulk that they can live two or three, or even four air, or, uh, ancient powers. But it looks like we just win. Wing attack kills Heracross. We just need to weaken this with Champ, and then wing attack, wing attack. And we can't get it continue because we lost our uh, Needle Queen to Body Slam. So it's just the waiting game now. That should be vital throw. Technically, it was faster to switch to Aerodactyl at some point, right? Or even better, we could have just like spent some of our turns like looking for other moves. Could have found out if our uh, Polyrath has like I don't know, Rain Dance. And it would have been faster to just go over two waterfalls, switch, wing attack, wing attack. But this is fine. Even if they have Endure, we should win. And they should have Endure if they have Reversal. So it's just going to waste a little bit of time, but as long as they're not Bright Powder or Quick Claw, this is an all but guaranteed win. I had a very sinking feeling in my stomach that it somehow would have lived a wing attack and killed me with reversal. Maybe there's a world where I go for ancient power there, right? Like if they go for endure and I ancient power, I can get a boost. I just put them out of range if wing attack somehow miraculously didn't kill there, right? There's a lot of ways I can play that that last turn to ensure I don't lose, but we just wing attack, you know, make them have it. If the AI is going to play the, the RNG game and do exactly what is needed to lose that game, I respect it for going for it. I'm just going to present lethal with a wing attack and leave the rest to you. And they didn't have anything to say, so they lost. Uh, we're really good against grass. We're, I mean, we're good against everything. We don't need to... I picked Magmar just in case, but like Aerodactyl should win this solo dolo. We don't know anything about our Magmar, though, huh? Hopefully we just sweep. Rapidash. Anyone else remember the uh, Pokemon episode, The Great Race? Where Ash, like, gains Rapidash's trust so that he doesn't get burned and gets to ride it. And there's that... <laughs> that one guy who competes on an electrode. <laughs> oh man, I used to have it on VHS, and I don't have it on VHS anymore because my mom, when I was much younger, felt that I had all these useless VHS tapes of the Pokemon series that I wasn't watching. And I'm so sad that I 
don't still have the Great Race VHS. I had to give them away. I forget what, where it went or what happened to it, but I had them all in a bag. And so I don't have that episode anymore. But that was a good episode. It was, it was fun to see Pokemon doing fun Pokemon things that wasn't just battling, right? We got to see competition with who's the fastest Pokemon, right? And there was that lady with the Dodrio really fast. It was just a lot of fun. Really fun episode. Really good episode. Solar Beam's kind of scary. I don't think I actually kill here. Especially after a uh, heal. I'm going to switch to Magmar here. I'm going to speculate that to get a continue here, I need to switch right now. Their last two can be fire or grass types, and then we just win. But we still need to find our fire move first. And what did we learn about Magmar? We didn't learn anything. And it's a safe switch in, right? That's the other big thing. Fire Punch kills, Flamethrower kills, Fire Blast kills. We could go to Polyrath here on the end, right? Go for two Waterfalls, but they might be going for a uh, sunny day, so two Ancient Powers is our win. We might die to a Sun Boosted Fire Blast. They could go for a dig. We could just crit. Let's see what they got. Iron Tail kills, Fire Blast might kill. Maybe get a boost? Darn. It's Flamethrower. Flamethrower can burn. But usually he gets excited or the crowd does something. Nah, maybe. I don't know. Continue secured. Where are we at? We're either at two or three continues. I can't remember if we got two continues after losing. We're at a minimum of two, right? We had two, we lost one, we just gained one back now. So we're either at two or three. Let's play like we're at two. Not that it's gonna change anything, right? We have the classic core, Aerodactyl Jolteon, and we can take our pick on our final, right? We can choose Polyrath, we can choose Nidoqueen. We're not really hurting for any kind of power level here. Our team is just unstoppable. Jolteon arrow, Polyrath it is. Oh boy, how exciting. We can also go for Rain Dance first instead of Thunder, depending on how we feel. I think we're just gonna go hard, Aerodactyl. Now the problem here is they can have a lot of switch ins to Aerodactyl, and that would not be pleasant. Also, don't ask me why Mechahorn 2K is an Aerodactyl. It's it's kind of messed up. They do switch, so now in order to kill the Heracross, we need to kill all the rest of their Pokemon, and then safely switch into Heracross- er, Aerodactyl. Alakazam is your switch in? Hello? What? That can't be correct. Oh my goodness, do I lose if I don't kill here? Do I lose if I don't kill here? Bro, I'm psyching myself out. I don't think I kill here, but it's it's Alakazam. How does it not die here? It didn't die. Boost? 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 
no way we die. Zero chance. <laughs> Alright, give me a Houndoom on the end. Not an Arcanine. Give me a Ninetales. Ninetales on the end. Please. Fine, I'll go. I'll go Jolteon. I was gonna go hard Polyrath, but Polyrath has Dynamic Punch, which kind of sucks. We could lose this very easily. I mean, we only need to do enough damage. We only need to do enough damage to get the the Snorlax in range of a, a wing attack, right? I'm gonna go for Thunder first, all the same. Right. Maybe Bite was better. I don't know. I think this is still gonna come down to me just hitting a, a Dynamic Punch. And I don't think Dynamic Punch kills without some significant damage. So I'm just gonna Thunder again. The upside of Paralyzing is worth it, too. And we got the hit off, so now I'm feeling a little more confident. There's a world where we go for Rain Dance, then Thunder, and then just Waterfall a couple times. But you know what? I've never seen this Polyrath miss a Dynamic Punch. So I think you know what we're going for here. Take two. The white hot battle continues. Vicious attack. Oh, that missed too. There's the attack. That was a glancing blow. It's a fierce battle. I was better off just staying in with my plus one Aerodactyl, if this is how it was going to play out. Just go for another boost. Kill with like two, three wing attacks. Clean house. The fact remains, they're having to use Blizzard. But we are almost dead, so... Alright, we took a Thunder Punch after a Mega Horn and barely lived. They had to go for the blizzard because we had the plus one. That explains it. When we have the boost, they, they're forced to go for it instead of the headbutt. Maybe it's right. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I don't think we're killing with four waterfalls there is the thing. And we literally went with one dynamic punch. Our odds were much better to just go for it four times, hit it once. I'm, I'm sticking to that, that strategy. However, we will be using... It was something weird. I wanted a ha I wanted an Umbreon. I got a Blissey. Blissey's not good for this fight, so I guess we, we're just. I'm gonna throw my chips on the table again, right? Dynamic Punch is the best way to kill Snorlax here. I don't think Earthquake Nido Queen when they have Blizzard is the way, and they could choose not to bring it in. Perfect. So this gives us a free wing attack to start off the battle. We could even go for uh, Ancient Power here, right? 
Because if they're going to go for the stupid Alakazam, we need to actually like just go for ro Ancient Power, get the boost again. And it, like, come on, dude. If I had just gone for Ancient Power there, it was like a 3 KO. 2 k with a boost. Gotta go Jolteon here, which I do not like. But I mean, Jolteon doesn't really have a switch in. If we went for Ancient Power, I think Thunder killed, so I'd go for Rain Dance Thunder here, guaranteed. I still think I'm gonna go for Rain Dance Thunder, but let's see what they go for first. Surf. I think we just Thunder then. Good. Didn't kill, because we didn't go for Ancient Power. We incorrectly went for Wing Attack. But Bite should kill at this range. Right? Let me think about it. Lapras is like a 3... 305... Oh, they might have gold buried. I really wish I knew if that was mine or not. There's no way Bite kills. We gotta go for it on the Thunder. Zero chance. Zero chance by kills. Okay. <sighs> that was probably the one mistake we made in this fight. Just going for a second thunder. But I, I can't know if that's my barrier or theirs. And if it's theirs, I definitely don't kill with bite. I'm just going to go for Bites. I'm going to go for Rain Dance next. Definitely going to go for Rain Dance next. I was pretty sure I was dead, but if I flinch there, I was going to go for the Rain Dance. Right, we need the Rain Dance out to actually deal any damage. The good news is our Aerodactyl's full, and our Polyrath isn't doing anything else this fight. So we just weaken with waterfall and try not to get ice punched thunder punch para maybe yeah maybe maybe we we'll rain dance with the play rather than bite crit saves us though that, that all but guarantees our win slow bomb is good damage Poison would be bad too, right? I think poison kills here, if uh, if it did poison. We died to the next one for sure. There's no way a third waterfall kills after a crit. We got poison on the third one. We didn't die to it. We died to it now. So poisoning the first hit or the second hit wouldn't have made a difference, thankfully. And now we just wing attack twice for the win. Scary fight. They changed up their Pokemon, which was interesting. Oh, I almost went for ancient power. Not that it's gonna make a difference, but I I, I was gonna be like in, I was in a mindset of I need to press this button twice. And I almost chose left, and if I chose left, and I was still in the mentality of I just need to choose the button twice, I would have gone for Ancient Power against the Heracross, and then we might be in trouble. So I remembered that my, my wing attack is right. So we just kill. Tough fight. I definitely misplayed with the bite though. Waterfall was the play, or Rain Dance was the play.
think Magmar Fire Blast is going to be more relevant than Blissey Hyper Beam. So we'll take Magmar. Jolteon's our lead. Bite and Thunder are great. We also have Rain Dance for their uh, double teamers. And then Aerodactyl, naturally. I think this is the turn to go for Rain Dance. They're going to waste a turn going for Flash or Double Team. And if they take a turn to hit us, they're probably not going for Surf or Hydro Pump. Exactly. And now we just clean house with a bunch of thunders. We have to remember that our bike can be in inaccurate. Right now we've got four turns of thunder to, to work with. And I think thunder is going to 2-KO more Gengars than bite. Right. It's going to 2-KO more Alakazams. 2-KO more Espeons. I don't know if it 2-KOs a Chinx. This Machamp's a little scary, but let's take a turn to see what's up. They're probably going for Mud Slap, Earthquake, or Dig. And I'm pretty sure we 2 a KO, so let's see what they go. Who needs to switch, bro? Come on. Who are you talking to? I got a Jolteon. Didn't do it, KO. I want to get a continue, but I've taken no damage. We didn't miss our first bite. Giga Drain? Okay. That was a crit, though. That crit might have literally healed all of it. <laughs> we definitely switch into Magmar on a Giga Drain, and we only need to hit one Fire Blast. They're not likely to have Psychic if they have Giga Drain, so we probably will have plenty of time to just hit a Fire Blast, but if we also just hit the first one, maybe? Please? I'm not asking for much. Just hit the first one. It was confusion like I expected. The game continues to do this uh, process to balance the Pokemon by making so they don't generally have the best moves. There are some cases, for example, right, where like you can roll a, I don't know, a Typhlosion with Hyper Beam plus Fire Blast. That's like an outlier. I don't say I don't think that's an outlier because like the trade-off is you have two inaccurate moves, right? But like you can have Pokemon that have only the most accurate moves. The downside of Hyper Beam also being like you take a turn off, right? Same thing with like Solar Beam. You can have Psychic Solar Beam very often because those are two high-powered moves, but one of them technically has the drawback, right? The two-turn clock. So whenever you see something like a Giga Drain Exeggutor. Giga Drain is considered a stronger move, the best best in slot, you could say even. And it doesn't want to like load up a Giga Drain Psychic Exeggutor. That's just way too strong. So they balance it by giving it a weaker move, right? And you'll see the same thing with some other Pokemon, right? You might get Crunch. Like if you get a Ember on a Houndoom, they'll balance it by giving you Crunch. I've had Ember a Faint Attack before, but like that's the the mentality at least. We lose. We lose to an electric type. Here's 
makes the first move. A light pass. What will the other side do? And it's psychic? Oh, this is not good. If they get a special drop, we have to switch. And I don't like losing our Jolteon early, right? If we lose our Jolteon at any point here, we're, we're just like doomed. Doomed to have a bad matchup versus any water types. Not any tomorrow type. Right, we still have access to dynamic punch for some of the ice types. My headphone jack was a little displaced and so my audio was a little lighter, so I just had to reach down and fix it a little bit. We're gonna get a single flinch here. I definitely switch this turn if I don't die. Pretty sure I died. Well, the problem is they're gonna go for Thunderbolt if they have it. I was gonna switch to Aerodactyl here, but I don't think I can now. Because they're incentivized to go for a non psychic attack here. Flinch? Nope. Darn. And they did go for the psychic, unfortunately. Maybe I was supposed to go Aerodactyl here. I'm still fine with this result. We should still win. It's just, if they have any water types, we're in for a really hard fight. We can beat a flying type. And we're good against really everything else. Water type is the only thing I'm concerned about here. So give us a non-water type. Give us a fire and a grass type right here, right now. What's what's the matter, opponent? Why are you going to your Meganium on my Aerodactyl? That doesn't make sense. What what what's wrong? Now if they're Iron Tail's good. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop. Ha haggling, ha heckling? Heckling. <laughs> I'm gonna stop heckling my opponent for going uh, Meganium here. I mean, Iron Tail's pretty inaccurate, but I'm pretty sure it 2 KOs. But maybe that killed. Did not. Whew, okay. We would have lost. For sure, for sure, for sure. If they were Solar Beam, we had a chance, but I doubt that Waterfall killed. After two uh, wing attacks. That was a concern. But now that we dodged Iron Tail, we just deal damage to their last and hope it's not an electric type. Or no, it can't be an electric type. Our, our Polyrath can't lose to their last, that's guaranteed. Okay, I said it can't lose. I would like to revise my statement. Oh, that's right. We, I, in my mind, I thought we were like, yeah, I thought we were dead. We're we're super alive here. If they're going for strength, and like we live this one for sure. Oh no, I got it backwards. I was listening to the announcer. He said one of them is, one of them. I can't remember how he says the line, but like, but the other one looks tired, looks fresh and ready for more. Uh, I guess we're just waterfalling twice. Uh, dynamic punch is not the way. Or do we want a redemption shot? I mean, we gotta go for the redemption shot, right? Just hit this dynamic punch, Polyrath. Alright, now I'm committing to the dynamic punch. Oh, this ha this is such a mistake. Two waterfalls was the play. Redemption? Redemption? Please? Nice. We got the redemption shot. Two out of seven. I mean, that's basically 50%, right? 
basically 50% accuracy. Tough team. We had a we had a great good chance to win there. I, it was probably better to go waterfall twice, dude. It's like it's not even bright in my room, but I'm just like I can't see. Whew. When you fight the double team enough, you become the double team, right? Oh, uh, <laughs> Nido Queen. Aerodactyl Jolteon hit the run over Walton and call time. Exactly right, dude. I'm so upset that I just got another Aerodactyl Jolteon team. So boring. Like, actually boring. That's why we gotta spice it up with the dynamic punch, right? Put it all on the line. I'm not gonna win the fun way. Or, I'm not gonna win the boring way. I'm gonna win the fun way. And those three, uh, those three extra tries that you're seeing there instead of one. Crash. During the menu? No, there was a crash where I, I got a Venusaur first, and then crashed. And then I don't remember where the other crash was. But either way, and then the other crash was, uh, earlier. Oh no, we had, we, did we lose that round? No, we had a crash, right? I'm already forgetting everything. Uh, point being, these are all crashes that were, like, in the first fight. They weren't failed attempts, right? So we're still on, like, a win streak here, right? I've technically gone undefeated, unless I'm misremembering today already. But anyway, we've basically been undefeated for the last few runs in a row. Just loading it up, playing it out, and instantly winning. It is what it is. GG.